Well, that's not right. I'm Max and this is Sophie and we are currently converting our Mercedes Vario 614D into our very own Home on Wheels. And this week we are going to be making some countertops and we're making those out of scaffold boards. So thank you to everyone in the comments last week who suggested we use a biscuit cutter because that's what we're going to do. Now Max's dad is coming to help us do that. He's got those tools so we've been very very lucky there. So let's get to it. So we have just got all of our scaffolding planks laid out, um, which we're, what are we going to use them for? We're going to make our countertops out of them. So we're going to start by taking off all the little metal strapping on the ends um, and then measure up, cut then them, cut down, them down, down and then fix them together somehow. <laughs> and my dad's here to use a, help us with a biscuit joiner. So we're going to biscuit join them, glue them, screw them, attach them all together. So we're now cutting the scaffold boards down to size, making sure we've gotten rid of all the wibbly wobbly ones. Waffer. <laughs> Waffer thin. Now we've cut all the planks to size, we're gonna slice the back edge off because our countertop isn't actually gonna be this wide. So a little bit off the back, and it's good because this one's got a big chunk out of it. So it's worked out perfectly. So now we've planed down the inside edges that are all going to touch each other so are a bit squarer and we're going to trim off, like Sophie said, that edge to make it the right width. And then we're going to crack out the biscuit joiner and glue and biscuit these three together with some big clamps so they're nice and secure. <laughs> push so hard to push me back off. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've used our biscuit, what's it called? Biscuit cutter. Cookie cutter. <laughs> our cookie cutter? Our uh, biscuit. Cookie cutter. Cookie cutter. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use these little bad boys to go in the holes. So Max is going to glue into the holes, I'm going to yam these in, and then it's going to get stuck to this one. Good times. Take tape. Take glue. Like that? Yep. This is easier already than building that table. Yeah, I know. <laughs> go. Go, go, go. There. Okay. Yeah, all good. 
Oh no, okay, okay, Mr. Gorilla Arms. Where's Gorilla Balloon or Gorilla Arms? He's got long, long monkey arms. Oh no, it's not. You're missing. I'll push me schnozzle down. There you go. Did it good? Yeah. Okay, so that goes up like that. And down there. Okay, that's perfect. So now we have put the biscuits in and glued it. We're just clamping it all together and we're going to leave it for a bit of, bit of a while, probably over overnight to all set. So Sophie's just wiping off some of our excess glue, but that is our yeah, a little bit. But that's our first bit of countertop, all glued, biscuited, and clamped together. We're gonna to leave that overnight now um, and release it in the morning, and it should be all nice and solid. Obviously, we're gonna be screwing it down into our kitchen framework as well, which will help support it, but that's the kind of building off the countertops for now. Sophie's just gotta sand them 300 times, stain them and oil or varnish them or whatever, whatever she's doing, <laughs> and that'll all be done. Cool. What do you think about your countertop so far? I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. There's a part of me that's going, just leave it, just sand it and like, don't colour it, but... Yeah, but you'll put your mug of tea down on it. I know, I know. I just like how it looks, that's all. <laughs> it's gonna be dark. Dark. <laughs> like everything else. <laughs> I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Good. So they're now measuring where they need to put the biscuits because in this one we're going to be taking big chunks out for the cooker and for the sink so there can't be a biscuit join right down where they're going to cut because it will lose its strength. So this one is a little bit different. We don't need to biscuit this section at all because this is disappearing is where our cooker's going to be. But down here, we need to biscuit extra hard because this is being cut out, but it then goes back in. It is part of our Belfast sink cover-up, which means that we still have enough countertop to use because our sink is very big. And then this section here is gonna get sliced off and becomes a flap at the end of our van to ensure we have a full length countertop. Lots of biscuits, lots of strength. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> So we're just waiting for the first bit of countertop to have been glued and clamped for 24 hours. Um, so we're just doing a few little jobs and tidying up while waiting for that to happen. Okay, this unit has been screwed into the floor, but it is now getting screwed into the wall. So we've had to make a little wedge. Shim. A shim, that's a good word. A shim to go in where the ribs are and then Max is gonna shoot one of these massive screws. Well, are they? Are they self-drilling? Whatever they Self-drilling, hex head, stainless steel, fancy. Screws. Cool, and that's gonna go straight through there, and then this unit is not gonna go anywhere. Awesome. Well, not the shim. Ah, shim. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Take two. Well, that's not right. Noise. I don't think that's going anywhere. No. 
the beer. The beer. Right, I'm gonna get some super wide shots and hopefully that will. What did you call me? Super wide. Look, he looks super wide in the super wide shot. <laughs> Ooh, fish out. Um, in the meantime, we're going to break up a pallet, and it's not just a normal pallet, it's a completely natural, untreated um, pallet that we know where it's come from, we actually know who's manufactured it, so that's nice and safe, and we're going to use that strip pallet wood for our tabletop, because it's a bit lighter than the scaffold boards, the right depth that we need. So we're going to start by breaking up a pallet, and then we're also going to put some holes in it to biscuit join it together. See how we get on. <laughs> Breaking up pallet 101, choose your weapon! Weapon chosen! <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to break up a pallet and Max went in with brute force <laughs> and has managed to crack <laughs> some of the strips so I'm trying a gentler approach. It's taking a really long time and I still don't know if it's gonna come off in one piece or not so Harder than it looks, guys. <sighs> so now we have left our first piece of countertop for 24 hours. It's stuck together and now we've got to take the clamps off and hope it doesn't fall apart. And then we're going to start assembling our second piece of countertop. Because we only have three clamps, so... Four. We have four clamps, but we can't, we're going to do can't one do piece at a time. <laughs> Righty tighty. Lefty Lucy. There's a bit of crispy glue and stuff. Well, it's gonna get sanded down. Yeah. What do you think? Yes. Ooh, that glue's got a crack the ball in it. Oh, wow. The rest of it's solid. I might just have to like glue Fill that it. with glue and clamp it. Well, we couldn't resist just putting it in to have a look. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty damn cool. So now it's time to biscuit and glue together the second piece, which is here. Glue. Mmm, biscuits. So we've left this next piece of countertop clamped and clamped down because it had a little bit of a bend in it. <laughs> It was a bit um, kinky, wasn't it? <laughs> for 24 hours, I'm going to undo the clamps and see if it all springs back up or what happens. It will eventually be screwed down into our kitchen framework, so that'll kind of help support it as well. Um, but it's all biscuited and glued, and hopefully we'll take these clamps off and it'll stay fairly solid and in one piece. Touch wood. <laughs> Did it work? Yes. <laughs> Good. So this is the big pile of pallet wood that we managed to get yesterday. It is unfortunately a little bit wrecked. <laughs> we were very careful, but we've still been left with some splintery bits. So we need to do something with that to make it okay, usable for our table. So we're gonna measure up how long the table's gonna be and how many sets of good wood we can get out of this pallet wood. Now, we're no experts, but we kind of figured it'd be easier to plane a longer piece of wood. So we figured out this pile, we could probably get one long length out of 
These ones are good enough that we can just chop them in half so we can get two lengths. So we're gonna plane them before we cut them. Who knows if that's right. <laughs> Uh, we are going to um, draw some lines on them, which is the points that we're going to put the biscuits in, um, which we've got ready. So we're going to use our biscuit joiner. So we're just drawing these lines on so it's all lined up how we want it. Um, and then we'll go along and biscuit cut every single one. So we have now retrieved the biscuit hole cutter thing that Max's dad very awesomely left with us. And we're going to cut where all these lines are so we get a nice strong table. Yeah, boy. So we have once again left some wood clamped after it's been biscuited and glued overnight. This time it was our pallet tabletop. So we're gonna release those clamps. It had a dodgy, when we clamped it together, it kind of did a bit of a So this could be interesting. It might just completely fail. But it, so. it shouldn't. Well, we'll see what we can do. That's a And that is it for this week, guys. So thanks again so much for watching. Uh, we are really pleased with how our countertops look, aren't we? Yes, I mean, they're obviously not finished yet, but they're gonna be amazing when they're sanded really and stained good. and everything. Next week, we're gonna be looking at our overhead cupboards and back at the ceiling that we started a few weeks ago. Yes, it all will be revealed with our rubbish dark ceiling fly ideas. ceiling. <laughs> so yeah, like, subscribe if you haven't already and you're new around here and um, drop some comments down below because we love reading every single one of them. And I guess we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye.